this business of ours is not such yesterday. It's been around for quite, well, for quite some uh, ages. Uh, <clears throat> we can trace the origins of uh, uh, doing cartoons in this country back to the 1950s, actually. Uh, we start in the year of 1959, uh, when uh, Taifa Leo, the newspaper, was uh, muted as an idea. In 1960, it came by. Uh, actually, it preceded the Daily Nation. Taifa, Taifa Leo is actually just slightly older than the Daily Nation. Uh, in 1960, they, uh, when they hit the streets, they actually engaged a cartoonist. Uh, will you believe that? Immediately they hit the, the streets, they engaged somebody to uh, draw cartoons. And that was a gentleman by the name of uh, Edward Gitau. Edward Gitau, probably many of you young people don't really know uh, this gentleman. He's still drawing that, uh, that, uh, that uh, comic strip, it's called uh, Jua Kalulu. It is still running in... Uh, in, uh, in Taifa Leo today, how many years later? 53, 54? 54 years or something like that. So um, the strip features the character Juha Kalulu along with uh, his wife Sarah and his dog and their dog called Tasker. And he has admitted before that um, the character was actually developed from Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. You guys know about Walt Disney, of course. Now, after that, there's quite a, there's quite a gap. Um, before we got into uh, editorial cartoons, it took quite some time and we had to develop, you know, slowly. Um, in the meanwhile, early artists uh, of the 60s and 70s were actually getting a lot of influence from, from the West. There were comics, I mean, we were blasted with comics, comics from outside. Uh, Pino, Dandy, Topa, Biza, and so on, and all those characters, the Mzungu characters. I'm not saying that there was anything wrong with that. It helped us develop, uh, develop what we have today.